This is the train station at Port Huron, Michigan, on the border with Canada. A station that was an important one in hockey history. As a personal sidebar, in my final game before the pause, San Jose at Chicago, I rode Amtrak's Blue Water, train number 364 back here. On that trip, we went by the home of the White Sox, the team that Eddie Olchek has wagered will win the American League pennant. A couple of hours later, we went by Western Michigan University, where once there was a hockey player named Keith Jones. The ride was about six hours. On this snowy morning, the Blue Water left for Chicago on schedule at 6.20. It'll return here to this platform at about midnight. But in those train travel days of the NHL, teams playing between Montreal and Chicago would go right through here. Mickey Redman was famous as a Red Wing, but was at first a Montreal Canadian during the days of train travel. He recalled that if, let's say, the Canadians and Blackhawks would play a home-and-home -home series, Saturday in Montreal, Sunday in Chicago, you'd go to the Forum Saturday morning, go to the dressing room, and something the fans didn't think of, you'd go to the dressing room, take off your clothes, put your gear on. You'd skate, come back to the room, take off your gear, put your clothes back on, go home, take off your clothes, get a nap. Put your clothes back on, go to the rink, take off your clothes, put on your uniform, play the game, shower, put your clothes back on, go to the train station for the midnight train to Chicago. Both teams had separate sleeper cars. You get on the train, go to the sleeper, take off your clothes. Put on either PJs or long underwear because you ride all night, but you are sort of in the general public. Then, at breakfast time, you get up, put on your clothes, go to breakfast, come back, and you've now gone through Port Huron, into the States, gone through customs, continue across Michigan. You go back and eat once more, that's lunch, get a police escort to Chicago Stadium. There's probably no time for a warm-up. You play the game, get the midnight train back that reverses your field, goes back, goes through Canadian customs to Montreal, and you repeat all the changes of clothes. Redmond figured that over the three days, he changed clothes 21 times, and he heard the clickety-clack of the railroad tracks, and awful lot. 